guys, it's Matt here, and today I'm going to be doing a series on how to create an iOS web browser using Swift. Let's get started. So first, you're going to need to open up Xcode, which you can download from the App Store. And once Xcode's open, we're going to go to create a new Xcode project. And from here, we're going to choose iOS application single view. And we'll press next. Now, we're going to go ahead and just name this, I don't know, iOS browser, my health and control browser, browser, I'll just call it iOS browser, I'm just going to call that chili, we're going to be doing this in Swift, and we're going to make it universal, so it works on both iPad and iPhone, and we'll just click next. And now right here, I'll just go ahead and throw it. Uh, sorry, code. Let's just throw it in there. Okay. So I'll go ahead and make this full screen. Okay. So now. You see it has no signing identity found, it's just because, you know, you have to pay $100 to sign up to publish your app and stuff, but I'm going to leave that all the same. I'm going to leave it at 8.1, actually, I'm going to make it 8.1 there. Uh, we're going to do all that stuff, just leave that alone. We have to add a library, we have to add the WebKit, just click on that and add it. Then we've WebKit. That is what we need to make a web browser. So now we're going to go ahead and click on main.storyboard. And I'm going to click these two circles right here. And as you see right there, it gets me into here. So, um, yeah. Okay. So now we have the storyboard right here. And we have our code for the storyboard right here. We're going to start by importing the WebKit that we have right over here. So we're going to go ahead and import that. Import WebKit. And that should work. Yep. Okay, so the WebKit's imported. Make sure you have capitals. And here's our main class. This is where we're going to put all of our delegates, which you'll find out what delegates are soon. So this is where all the delegates will go right in that class right there. This is as soon as the app loads to do this stuff, which we'll be focusing mostly on that. This, we're not going to do really anything with. We're just going to leave it there because we want to leave it there uh, just for memory warnings and stuff. Okay, so we have that and we have that. So let's start building our interface. I'm going to close the... Uh, library right there uh, file browser sorry just close it by clicking that and the same would go for this but we need that open and so right here we need this right here this is going to be where we need to place our stuff on now this right here is the inventory all of these yellow things are view controllers which are these windows um, so right here, we don't want that actually. I'm going to start by pulling a web view. Web view, right there. Just drag that on there. Uh, we don't want that full height, so I'm gonna change that in any second. I can just just make that smaller for a minute. Show you guys how to do some stuff. Yeah, no, put it off right there. Uh, okay. Next, we're gonna want a search bar. I'm just going to put that up on the top right there. And we use the uh, blue lines to uh, align everything. Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to need a button. We actually need a few buttons. So we're going to bring these down here and we're going to command C and command V, V, V. For now, we need 
four buttons. This is to keep it uh, not very complicated right now. We're going to make this reload. And then we're going to make this uh, stop loading, which I'm just going to call it stop. We're going to make this back. Yeah, oops. And we're going to make this forward. Now you don't have to do that exactly, but and I'm just gonna use the blue lines again. Just don't nope. don't want that blue line. Uh, just there. And we're gonna drag this over here. I'm just gonna use some, those blue lines right there. And do the same for this. Oops. Now that's done. Now I'm going to make the web view bigger to proportion. I'll just drag that down there. There's no accurate proportioning, but I'm just going to leave it there. Now here's the easiest part of it all reload, you right click, action, drag it on. Oh, whoops. Nope. Sorry. Do I web view? There. Uh, now, reload. We just drag to the reload button. And we're going to go ahead and make that touch up inside, which means just touch. Uh, okay. Stop loading. Gonna drag right there. And once again, touch up inside. Right there, we're gonna do the go back function. Put that right there touch up inside, go forward, put that right there, and once again, touch up inside. That was the easy part, but it doesn't do anything. So now we're going to go ahead and add constraints. So you click on an object, you press control, and drag it to a border, like there, or the side. So we'll start by anchoring this search bar. We're going to anchor it to the top space, so we're going to anchor it to the top. You see it's orange, that means we need to anchor it to the side, and anchor it to the bottom, which it's already there. Sometimes it's really finicky about things, so... There. And now you see it's all blue. Uh, it was just kind of finicky about it, but we got that. It's always good to just hit save whenever you just did some work, hit save. Go ahead and anchor this. Space to container margin. Anchor that to the top. Anchor that to the bottom. No. And Z. Didn't mean to do that. Sometimes it's really finicky. There. Not there. Okay. Uh, what would it be? What am I missing? There we go. Okay. Got that done. Huh. Hit command S whenever. Same thing with these buttons. Oops. I pressed command. Control. Boom. These, boom, boom, boom. Ah. Okay, we have that done. But our code doesn't really even do anything. If we hit Command R, which will run it, now. Your iOS simulator won't look like this when you boot it. It'll probably look more like this, unless you're on a retina or something like that. Uh, so the way to fix that would be to go to Window, Scale, and choose your scale. 
I'm on a 1080p display right now, and I think 75 works good. But if you're on a 720p display, uh, I would recommend 50. Or you can just hit the commands. So, yeah, we can also do a bunch of hardware stuff like rotate left, rotate right, stuff like that. Now, let's look at the app itself. It doesn't do much right now, that is. See, we can search on the keyboard, but it doesn't do anything. We have not connected that to the web view, which is right here. It just can't do anything, because we haven't told it to yet. The reloads and stops work. We just haven't told it to do anything, really. And then these buttons work, too. We just haven't told it to do anything yet. We haven't told it to load a web page. We haven't told it to do anything. So we'll work on that in the next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, please subscribe, like, all that stuff, share. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it way back. Now bring that ass back to the future. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it